So one thing that's been bugging me is the URLs of the posts. So I don't want it to go to slash post slash five or the ID of the uh, post simply because it's not very uh, nice to look at. Um, it doesn't explain what the post is about. And also it's not very URL friendly or SEO friendly. So to fix that, we are gonna use a gem called a friendly ID. And what this does is it makes, well, you can see here, friendly ID is the Swiss army bulldozer of slugging and permalinks for active record. So if we go to the um, GitHub documentation for friendly ID and the Rails quick start section, let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to copy over the latest from Ruby gems and let's go to first create a branch for this, git checkout dash B and I'll say friendly underscore ID. All right, now let's go to sublime text and open up the gem file. So under red carpet, let's add friendly ID. I'm using version 5.1.0, so save that. Let's go back and go to the GitHub documentation. So let's uh, go ahead and do a bundle install. All right, so as you can see, it installed friendly ID for me. And let's uh, go ahead and restart our server, okay? So the next thing we need to do is do the friendly ID generator. So let's go back to Sublime. I'm just going to copy this. And we need to do Rails generate friendly ID. And then the next thing we need to do is create a or add a migration to add a uh, slug to our uh, posts. So instead of the rails generate scaffold, this is starting from scratch. What I want to do is uh, rails generate migration. We're going to do add underscore slug underscore two underscore posts. And the slug is going to be a string. And we're also going to make it uh, unique. All right, so that's good. Now let's do a rake db migrate. All right, so that takes care of the create friendly IDs and add slug two posts. So what we need to do next is add the extend friendly ID and the friendly ID name use slugged. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go into our models and post.rb. So I'm going to copy what we have here and let's paste that in. So instead of the friendly ID name on the post model, we have a title or let's make the slug the title and then we're going to use the use slug. So if we go back and refresh, usually nothing happens. If we go to articles, oops, that's not set up yet. So nothing happens just yet. It still uses the post slash five. And that is because let's go to the welcome index. What we need to do is change, I'm sorry, the post controller. What we need to do is go ahead and change how we are finding the post. So instead of post.find, we're going to do post.friendly.find by params of ID. And also we want to permit the slug. So when we create a new post, the slug gets saved to the database. All right, so let's save that, refresh. So still nothing is done. And that is because if we go to the documentation again, you can see here, if you're adding friendly ID to an existing app and need to generate slugs for existing users, in our case posts, uh, do this from the console. So what we need to do, let's just scroll down. Let's go back to terminal. Let's do the Rails console, Rails C. And what I'm gonna do is post.find each. And for each post, I'm gonna do and colon save. And what that will do is adds the slug uh, to each of the posts based on the title. So now if I go back to localhost and let's go click here, All right, you can see it now goes to post slash fourth post. How do I learn X post slash how do I learn X? Beautiful. So this will be much better for uh, sharing links and also for SEO stuff because this is actually a descriptor of what the post is, uh, the post title, instead of just a post slash three. All right, fantastic. So let's uh, go ahead and commit our work. Let's get out of the Rails console by doing control D and get status. All right, let's add what we've done, get add dot, get S, 
do a git commit dash am and I will say add friendly underscore id gem and set up friendly underscore id on posts. Now let's do a git checkout master git merge and let's do a git uh, push and then let's go ahead and push this up to Heroku to make sure it works. Git push Heroku master. Cool, so now that that is done, if we went and looked at our Heroku app right now, we would definitely get an error, and that is because we have changed the database. So we need to do a Heroku run rake db migrate. Okay, and now that that is done, uh, we also need to do the same thing we did before. Let's do Heroku run Rails C to jump into the Rails console on Heroku. And since we have a post already, we need to do post.find each, even though we only have one. We'll do and colon save. All right, so let's go to our Heroku app. Let's go home. And all right, now we go to slash post slash the do list. One thing I want to make sure is if we create a new post, let me say, how do I learn X? And I'll just put in some filler text for now. Paste that in. All right, so we go to the correct post and we don't have any issues creating new posts. Fantastic. So in the next video, we are going to set up pagination for our posts.